Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. You know, I've been looking at the 2024 Tacoma, trying to figure out what I want to do with it and stuff, and which model I want, which I think is going to be the Sport. And I got to looking at the front end, and I discovered that I'm probably not going to be able to do what I want to do to this truck, at least with this small part in the front end. And I'm talking about the chin strap, the air dam that goes across the front. Let me pop up a picture. This is of the TRD Pro right up here. Now you can see there is no chin strap on the front of that truck. It's open. It does have that chrome or pewter or whatever cover across, which is gonna be interesting to see. Is that plastic or is that steel, metal, aluminum most likely? I don't know for sure but I love the look of that front end. I think it's pretty cool. It's exactly the way that I want it to be. You know, I've had the sports and I've had the off-roads. The off-road third generation, by the way, does not come with that chin strap across the front, whereas the sport does. And I've taken it off when I had the sport because again, I just think it's a better look for the truck. So let's take a look at the, the sport now. If you look at this, it has the chin strap right across the bottom. I don't like that. I think it makes the truck look chunky. And I've heard a few comments like that from people that it looks chunky, it looks square. And I agree with that. And that is because of that chin strap there. Now, let me kind of digress a little bit. I have heard that you can remove it. There's like eight screws or umpteen bolts or whatever under there but there's a problem in doing it. If you look at that truck and you look at the fender on the side, the placement of where the chin strap is, where it butts up against the fender, you can see it kind of just goes straight across and then it's flat up above it, right? Now, if we go back to the TRD Pro, you can see on that truck that there's kind of a, an indentation over where the fender is. It kind of comes down and goes in and then back on down. Now, I'm hoping that the chin strap on the other models, because it looks like they all get it, except for the Pro, has that hidden underneath. But it doesn't appear to be that way to me, because when I look at the Pro, it seems like that smooth area up above where it indents it and then comes back out is much shorter than what is on the Sport in this case. That's kind of a bummer, because I think the look of the Pro is awesome with this new Tacoma. And I think in putting that chin strap down there, one, it makes it look too low. It doesn't give you that lifted appearance of the truck or on the truck that you get with having it off. And that means you don't even have to do anything. If you want that illusion, you just remove that chin strap, that air dam, and it looks like you've lifted the truck. Now, there is a little controversy in taking it off and that's fuel economy. You know, it's there supposedly to make the truck more aerodynamic so it gets better gas mileage. It's going to be interesting to see once the stats come out on that, whether or not the Pro, which I think is going to be a hybrid anyway, so maybe it's not an apples to apples comparison, but whether or not that gets lower fuel economy than the models that have the chin strap on the front. I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard to say. Now, there could be some aftermarket options out there for it as well, because certainly there's enough people that have taken that off that the aftermarketers will pay attention. Maybe there'll be something a little bit more streamlined, something that doesn't look as chunky as what it does on the current model. Who knows? I hope so. I'd definitely be interested in some kind of a bolt-on application to replace that with something that's a bit sleeker. Now, there's another thing I notice, and this is true on all of the models. It doesn't really matter which one you get, and that's the placement of the fog lights. They are a rectangular square. You can see them on both sides. You're not gonna be able to replace them like we've done before with the round ones. You know, before, you could get smoked round ones that were just like OEM. Matter of fact, I believe Toyota has an OEM. I think I've bought them before that actually look just like the regular ones, except they're smoked. You can buy all kinds of aftermarket things that replace that in the space with four lights, you know, the aux beams that I've done before on the Tacoma. Doesn't appear we're going to be able to do that with this new model. It looks like they're square. Now, 
I'm sure down the road, assuming those are accessible at all, you know, it's pretty easy to change out the fog lights on the third gen. These look tucked too far in on that bumper area. I don't know. Another thing is going to be the grill. You know, in looking across the pictures, we've got on the Limited that chrome grill that goes across there. I don't really dig that. On some of the other ones, it's not too bad. We still have the Toyota emblem with the square TRD Pro-ish treatment to it, but it's not the type of grill that has the Toyota emblem or Toyota wording, I guess, better inside. Of course, they have that what appears to be integrated LED bar across the front. I want to know if you're going to be able to replace that. In looking at the pictures of it, it does appear to me like that grill is going to pull off just like the other one did. But until I actually have one in my own hands, I can't say for sure. It could be that it's integrated into the front fender area or the front fascia, if you will, and you have to remove the front end to be able to take off that grill. You know, I've had that happen on some other vehicles. Not long ago, I had a Mercedes. I know, completely different animal, right? If I had to pull the whole front end of the car off, that was a very daunting experience for me. Here's the whole front end of this car laying on the ground just to replace the grill insert. I hope Toyota doesn't go that way, and I hope we're going to be able to pull that insert out like we have many other times, and I've done it a lot. If you look in my garage, you can see I've got the skeletons of uh, a few older grills up here uh, that I've removed from various vehicles, not just the Toyota Tacoma, but the Tundra, the Jeep, whatever else. I've got the old Mercedes one sitting right up there on the wall. You may have seen it in other videos, but I'm really hoping that we can pull that thing out to customize it. I have one on my truck right now that has the channel name in it. I like it. It lights up. It's cool. Some people might think it's a little corny. I don't know, but it's good advertising for the channel because whether you like it or not, you can see it. So anyway, just a couple of things about the front end. I like it otherwise, and I think with that chin strap gone, it's going to be just fine. I hope. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you dig the look of the, of the new truck, the front end? Does it make it look chunky? Or are you okay with it? You just leave it alone. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.